hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna show you how to set up a coffee bar right in your own home this is really awesome if you're a big coffee drinker and it's also really great for your guests too so let's go ahead and start on the top part of this setup we've got a beautiful sign to start off and it says happiness is homemade because you know everything that is homemade is just so much better this is where i would store my mugs and of course a whole bunch of decorations like that joy and plants but first let me talk about this chalk glass jars you guys i found these from hobby lobby and i love that i can write whatever i want but for this one i'm using it for my creamers for one of them i am writing plain and the other is flavors in the plain jar i'm putting vanilla because to me that is plain seriously and the other one is flavors uh, pumpkin pie and it's not shown here but my favorite is hazelnut oh my gosh i love it so much and i would just put it in the middle and if you get this make sure you you move it with the handle because otherwise you're gonna risk brushing all that chalk off i have a few favorite mugs that i like to put on here but seriously guys i cannot wait to find those radon mugs but i also like to store a glass jar filled with tea and um some of my favorite flavored teas right there and on the other side is just a candle and a plant decor let's move on to what's below the shelf this sign speaks truth coffee is liquid that smells like fresh ground heaven yes yes and right below that i have a wooden wall decor with hooks and this is so perfect for little cups for strong coffees or teas because you know some days we might need that and these are really nice simple and sturdy and I love it so whenever I want a strong cup of coffee or tea I just grab it and make my coffee When you're looking for your table for the coffee bar, make sure you find one that has at least two doors for your coffee cups and the other for your other favorites. You know, never can leave out those. So for on top of the table, you are going to want a add-on unit. I found this at Ikea and I really love it. It's for my creamers, my sugar, wooden spoon and syrup and honey and a whole bunch of other stuff like stirring spoons and spoon rest. So it is really easy for you to do your stuff because you're gonna have everything here and what I really love most about it is that when guests are sleeping over or coming over and they want some coffee everything is here and they can serve themselves so they no longer can be like where is your coffee where is your spoon be like girl look in case you were wondering that honey is not for the coffee it is for my tea You've got to have electric kettle for your hot water because it's going to be for your tea, for your stuff that I'm going to show you. Anyway, this drawers is perfect. It has three uh, baskets. On the first one, it's for hot chocolate and the second one is tea. This is my favorite green tea, you guys. And this other one is lemon ginger crystals because when I'm sick, I need this like all the time with honey. On the bottom one, I like to put to-go tumblers and extra coffee pods that cannot fit in the drawer, but apparently me and my hubby drink it all. On the bottom part of this add-on unit are oatmeal. Right beside it are cereal dispensers that my kids can easily reach and this random thing right here that I like to put protein bars. I usually change the thing uh, seasonally too. As you can see here, my youngest who is a five, she can easily reach this and pick her own cereal for breakfast and easily put it back as well. All right, guys, that is it for the coffee bar inspiration. I hope this video was helpful if you were looking for some ideas to make your own coffee bar. Oh, and by the way, there are a whole bunch of links in the description box below. So if you're looking for some links for these products, you can find it there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.